The Italian name for the volcano is Campi Flegri, or Burning Fields. It's Caldera, the collapsed top of the ancient volcano that formed when the magma within erupted, is almost 8 miles wide. Though half of the caldera is obscured beneath the crystal blue waters of the Mediterranean, the other half is on land studded with cinder cones and craters from smaller eruptions. The whole area seeds with hydrothermal activity, sulfuric acid spews from active fumaroles. Geysers spout water and steam. The ground froths with boiling mud. An earthquake swarms shudder through the region. The site's last major eruption happened over the course of the week in 1538, when it expelled enough new material to create the cinder cone mountain, Monte Novo. But the caldera itself is some 39,000 years old, formed by an eruption larger than anything else in the past 200,000 years of European history. A 2010 study in the journal, Current Anthropology, suggested that this prehistoric outburst, which spewed almost a trillion gallons of molten rock and released just as much sulfur into the atmosphere, set off a volcanic winter that led to the demise of the Neanderthals, who died out shortly afterward. It was this massive volcanic system that just two weeks ago, made headlines. It was reported then that the caldera was nearing a critical point at which rising magma could trigger a runaway release of gas and fluid, potentially leading to an eruption. Well, it was reported today, that Campi Flegri, one of world's most dangerous supervolcanoes, has inched even closer to reaching its critical phase and could erupt. Based on physical measurements and computer modeling, it has been proposed that magma is about to achieve critical gas pressure. If the hydrothermal rocks overheat they can lose their resistance, which would cause an acceleration towards critical conditions. In fact, it has been maintained that the area observed a significant deformation of the Earth's crust and began rapidly warming back in 2012, following a series of earthquakes that were recorded. Scenarios for volcanoes are not as easily predicted as say earthquakes. Enhanced exhaust fumes, gases, mineralized water, leakage of lava up to strong eruptions that created the mountains and protruding material can fill the atmosphere. This can lead to veiling sunlight, reduce warming, and could lead to damage to crops, food shortages, and poisoning. Of course, lava can cause severe fires, the ashes thrown into the air would cause respiratory problems and could require the evacuation of people from vulnerable parts of the environment of the volcano. It is not clear whether this unrest will culminate in an eruption and if it does over what time scale this will occur. It is certain though that with this area having a high population density, an eruption from a supervolcano of this magnitude would be catastrophic regarding human lives. The Italian authorities are also concerned about the risk of the eruption of the nearby Mount Vesuvius. An eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD wiped out Pompeii and neighboring settlements. Mount Vesuvius last erupted in 1944. Experts say that the volcano goes through a 20-year eruption cycle. This means that the volcano is overdue for another major eruption. The latest warning comes after Italy was hit by several earthquakes. A magnitude 6.6 .6 quake, the strongest in nearly four decades, hit the country last October. Italy also experienced a magnitude 6.2 earthquake last August. About 300 people died in the quake that hit the town of Amatris, in the province of Rite in northern Lazio, central Italy. Thanks for turning in for this special report. I would love to hear your thoughts on the possibilities of Campi Flagre erupting. Please post down below and provide me with your two cents. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share this video while you are at it. If you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great night guys.